Today in our 2014 Ford F-150, we'll be installing the current trailer hitch receiver, class four, part number C14002. Now here's what our new current trailer hitch looks like on our F-150. It is a class four hitch, so it is heavy duty, has a nice thick steel for the sides of it, nice heavy welds that attach it, and a nice black powder coat finish that's gonna resist corrosion and rust. Being a class four hitch, it does have a 1,000 pound towing capacity and a 10,000 pound towing capacity. With a weight distribution hitch, it bumps it up to 1,200 pounds of tongue weight and 12,000 pounds of towing capability with this hitch. You also wanna check the specifications of your vehicle to see what the maximum towing capability is. You always wanna go with the lower, whether the hitch or the vehicle rating. It is a two inch by two inch opening and it has a nice thick lip here around the receiver tube to get added strength. A 5 pin pinhole that's easy, easily accessible from either side and your chain tie downs that you can reach when you hook your trailer up. It is a nice square tube, so it's gonna give your truck a nice look. It does hang down a little bit underneath the bumper, but it still gives the truck a nice look from underneath compared to a factory hitch. Now we'll go ahead and give you some measurements that'll help you choose an accessory such as ball mounts, bike racks, and cargo carriers. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of the bumper is three and a half inches, and from the top of the receiver tube to the ground is 17 inches. Now we'll go ahead and show you how the hitch is installed. Now to start our installation, we'll go ahead and point out the attachment points on our vehicle. Here on the back side of our frame, there's an oval hole that faces the rear of our vehicle. That'll be the one attachment point. And then if you go up the frame just a little bit, there's a round hole here. That'll be the second attachment point here for our hitch. Now here for our back attachment point that faces the rear of our vehicle, We'll go ahead and use one of the hex head bolts and a flat washer that'll go through the hitch and through our frame and then get attached with a flange nut here on the back. That'll be for this location and for the one towards the front of our vehicle. It'll get a hex head bolt and a flat washer which will go through the hitch and through the frame and then it'll get two flat washers to take up the gap here in the frame. So you go ahead and put that through there your hitch will be in between the one washer and the two washers here on the bolt. So your hitch will be like that. And the two flat washers will take up that circle gap in the frame. And then on the back side, it'll get the square block that comes with the kit and a flange nut. And that'll be all the hardware for the forward mining locations. It'll be the same on both sides of our vehicle the mounting locations, and the hardware. Now we'll go ahead and get an extra set of hands to help us set our hitch into position and install our rear hardware. Now with our rear hardware installed, we'll go ahead and install the hardware here on the side of our frame. So we'll go ahead and take our rear hardware, feed that through our hitch, through our hole, install the two flat washers to take up the gap. Then we'll put on a square block, and our flange nut. We can go ahead and repeat that same process for the passenger side. And then we can go ahead and tighten down our hardware, use a three quarter inch socket and a three quarter inch wrench to do that. Now that we have those tightened down, we can go ahead and torque them as specified in the instructions. Now with all our hard work tightened and torqued, we're ready to hit the road. And that'll do it for the Kirk Trailer Hitch Class 4 with two inch opening, part number C14002 on our 2014 Ford F-150.